Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. Good evening, welcome to South Asia Newsline. I'm Lipakshi Khurana. Here are the top stories we're tracking for you on Tuesday, the 22nd of October. Indian Prime Minister Modi meets Nobel laureate Abhijit Banerjee in New Delhi. Two killed as police bait and charges protesters in Pakistan administered Kashmir. And U.S. Defense Secretary affirms long-standing commitment to Afghanistan. And now for all the details, Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Tuesday met Nobel laureate Abhijit Banerjee and said the country is proud of his achievements. Indian origin economist Banerjee was jointly awarded the Nobel Prize in Economic Sciences with two other economists for their experimental approach to alleviating global poverty. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi met Nobel laureate Abhijit Banerjee in capital New Delhi on Tuesday. Prime Minister Modi said that he had a healthy and extensive interaction with Banerjee on various subjects and India is proud of his achievements. Banerjee said Prime Minister Modi discussed his government's efforts to reform bureaucracy by making it more responsive to the views of the people on the ground. Indian origin economist Banerjee was jointly awarded the Nobel Prize in Economic Sciences along with his French-American wife Esther Duflo and American economist Michael Kramer for their experimental approach to elevating global poverty. The PM was kind enough to give me quite a lot of time and to talk a lot about his way of thinking about India which was uh, quite unique uh, because you know, one hears about policies, but one rarely hears about the thinking behind it. And he, he talked about the way he sees governance in particular and why, in some sense, the, maybe the mistrust of the people on the ground colors our governance and how it therefore creates structures of kind of elite control over, over the governance process. Banerjee, who is in India since his big win, later in a press briefing spoke on several issues including a banking crisis, which he called as critical and frightening. The 58-year-old Kolkata-born economist is currently the Ford Foundation International Professor of Economics at Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Pakistan on Tuesday continued to violate ceasefire along the border, targeting civilian areas in Punch district of India's Jammu and Kashmir. This came after the Indian Army on Monday successfully destroyed three mortar shells of Pakistan Army in Punch. The Indian Army destroyed three mortar shells of the Pakistan Army, which were found after a ceasefire violation in Karmara village in Punch district of India's Jammu and Kashmir on Monday. Pakistani troops have continued firing of small arms and heavy caliber mortar shells, targeting forward posts and civilian areas in Jammu and Kashmir over the past few weeks. Indian security forces claim Pakistan attempts to push terrorists during such ceasefire violations. तो बाहर से जितनी सेलिंग आती है साहब यही निकालते हैं और यही पटालते हैं सर हमारे बहुत परेशानी है माल मवेशी और जो खेती बाड़ी है इसमें बहुत परेशानी आ रही है द इंडियन आर्मी हैड ऑन संडे क्लेम्ड दैट इट हैड डिस्ट्रॉयड टेरर कैंप्स इनसाइड पाकिस्तान इन अ रिटेलिएटरी अटैक आफ्टर टेररिस्ट फ्रॉम पाकिस्तान अटेम्प्टेड टू इनफिल्ट्रेट इन कश्मीर वैली Indian Army Chief Bipin Rawat said 6 to 10 Pakistani soldiers and similar number of terrorists had been killed in the retaliatory move. India's Defence Minister Rajnath Singh on Monday said a part of the Siachen Glacier, often referred to as the world's highest battlefield, is now open for tourists to visit. Siachen Glacier comes under the Ladakh region and this comes a few days ahead of Ladakh being declared a Union Territory on 31st of October. 
Indian Defence Minister Rajnath Singh on Monday said a part of the Siachen Glacier, often referred to as world's highest battlefield, is now open for tourists to visit. The strategically located glacier in the eastern Karakoram range was declared open to tourist visits a few days ahead of Ladakh being declared a union territory on 31st of October. Siachen Glacier comes under the Ladakh region, which along with Jammu and Kashmir was declared as a union territory by the government in August. Singh inaugurated the Colonel Chewang Rinchen Bridge at Shok River in northern Ladakh region. With the inauguration of the bridge, the Siachen area will now be open for tourists and will boost tourism sector in the area. Siachen base camp se le Kumar post tourist ke liye khole ka nirde le liya gaya hai aur deshwasiyon ko kis tarah se muskil halat mein hamari sena ko desh ki raksha mein tainat hokar kaam karna padta hai. इसकी जानकारी हो सके इसी दृष्टि से यह एक महत्वपूर्ण फैसला किया गया है सियाचिन इज 20000 फीट अबव सी लेवल द इनहॉस्पिटेबल क्लाइमेट एंड एवलांच प्रोन टेरेन मेक्स द रीजन डिफिकल्ट टू एक्सेस इंडियन एंड पाकिस्तानी फोर्सेस एस्टीमेटेड टू नंबर बिटवीन 10000 टू 20000 ट्रूप्स कंबाइंड हैव फेस्ड ऑफ अगेंस्ट ईच अदर इन माउंटेंस अबव द सियाचिन ग्लेशियर सिंस 1984 but the two sides have lost more soldiers to altitude sickness and the cold than the hostile fire moving on at least two people were killed and several injured as police baton charged on peaceful protesters in muzaffarabad city of pakistan administered kashmir on tuesday the incident happened as various political parties had called for a pro freedom rally in muzaffarabad on the occasion of october 22nd the day when pakistani forces invaded the part of jammu and kashmir in 1947 the day is marked as black day by the people of pakistan administered kashmir and gilgit baltistan political activists have for long blamed the people of the illegally occupied region are denied basic fundamental rights and are meted out with severe brutality for voicing their concerns and in news from afghanistan us defense secretary mark esper has said that security partnership of us with afghanistan will continue to remain strong he made the remarks on monday during his trip to kabul where he also met top afghan leadership US Secretary of Defense Mark Esper said on Monday that the United States remains fully committed to helping Afghanistan. Speaking with reporters during his trip to Kabul, Esper said, regardless of the outcome of the election, US security partnership with Afghanistan will remain strong. He said the US will continue to pursue an aggressive military campaign against the Taliban and other terrorist groups until a negotiated political settlement among afghans is not achieved regardless of the outcome of the election our security partnership with afghanistan will remain strong our mission in afghanistan has not changed we continue to conduct counterterrorism operations while supporting the development of the andsf the united states remains fully committed to helping afghans create a peaceful stable and prosperous afghanistan and to supporting the afghans efforts led by the government towards peace Esper's visit to Afghanistan came a month after US President Donald Trump halted talks with the Taliban over the killing of an American soldier in a Kabul terror attack. The Defense Secretary also met Afghan President Ashraf Ghani on Sunday and discussed a range of topics including the security situation in Afghanistan and peace with the Taliban. Sri Lanka's president Mathripala Sirisena has said that he would carry out death penalty for at least one drug dealer in the country if the Supreme Court agrees on his decision before his tenure ends. Sri Lankan president Mathripala Sirisena has said if the Supreme Court agrees on his decision of death penalty before his tenure ends he would carry out the punishment for at least one drug dealer in the country. Sri Sena made the remarks while addressing an event in capital Colombo on Monday. The president asserted that although he took measures to reinstate the death penalty to the drug traffickers, a case was filed in the top court against the decision and he would have to bow down to the court. Sri Sena in July had said his government would go ahead with the death penalty on serious drug offenders ending a near half century moratorium on capital punishment. 
Sri Lanka has in recent months launched a severe crackdown on the illegal drug trade with several drug lords and smugglers taken into custody after over 300,000 people in Sri Lanka allegedly became addicts. And in news from Bangladesh, tensions continue to run high in Bangladesh on Tuesday amid threats from religious groups of tougher agitations over the death of four people during Sunday's clashes in Pula district over an allegedly blasphemous post on Facebook. Radical Islamist groups have the authorities to meet their six demands, including capital punishment for the Hindu youth, who they claim responsible for blasphemy, for allegedly defaming the Prophet and release of those arrested. According to the police, the Facebook had actually been hacked and all the hacks had been detained. A handful of golfers managed a quick game over the weekend at a high altitude base in the shadow of Nepal's Mount Everest, while their golf tournament was called off as most of the participants could not fly due to bad weather. A high-altitude golf tournament in the shadow of Nepal's Mount Everest had to be called off over the weekend as most of the players could not fly in due to heavy cloud cover, but a handful of them managed a quick game. Bad weather made it impossible for most helicopters to fly in for the tournament, which was meant to be played by a group of 40 golfers at the base of Mount Kongre at a height of 4,250 meters, which organizers said made it the world's highest altitude golf tournament. Some golfers who however reached played a quick game. Eight others teed off at another makeshift course in Siang Boche, located at an altitude of 3,880 meters, overlooking Mount Everest and other Himalayan peaks. And I think it's not about the winning and I think it's a, it's a new thing, it's the first time uh, in the uh, first time in Nepal's history and maybe in the world's history playing golf um, in an altitude so high and in the Everest region. So, and the people that came to play golf uh, and participated in it was also excellent. According to officials, previously the highest golf played was at an altitude of 3,960 meters in the northeastern Indian province of Sikkim. The remainder of the high-altitude tournament will be played in Nepal's capital Kathmandu this weekend. Participants belonging to the Maitai community dressed in colourful traditional attires took part in a beauty pageant in India's northeastern Manipur province over the weekend. The pageant aimed at preserving and promoting traditional Maitai culture of the province. A beauty pageant aimed at preserving and promoting traditional Maite culture of the people of India's northeast in Manipur province and a way of life was held over the weekend. Participants belonging to the Maite community dressed in colorful traditional attires showcased their talent during the fourth edition of Maite Chanu Beauty Contest where participants from Bangladesh also participated. The contest looks out for an overall personality imbibed with loves for one's cultures, attires and traditions. The costume-based beauty pageant has three rounds. Lufrak from Suchona was crowned the winner of the pageant, while Ganesh Wodi Thongbram and Prabina Chanu Arambam were first and second runners-up respectively. Lining Tho Sanamahi Sanapung, a social organization in Manipur, has been organizing this contest with the motive to preserve, protect and to maintain the culture and tradition of Maite community. Maite community is a dominant population of Manipur province in northeastern India. They are divided into clans, the members of which do not intermarry and follow Hindu customs. Well, that's the way it was in South Asia this evening. Before we conclude, the top stories once again. Indian Prime Minister Modi meets Nobel Laureate Abhijit Banerjee in New Delhi. Two killed as police blatant charges protesters in Pakistan administered Kashmir. And US Defense Secretary affirms long-standing commitment to Afghanistan.
Now our viewers can watch the show on SouthEastGenewsLine.com. You can also visit us on Facebook.com slash SAGNewsLine and follow us on Twitter at SAGNewsLine. That's all in tonight's edition. We'll see you same time tomorrow. Good night. Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.